everyone, welcome back to Serving Up Plumbing with me, your master plumber, David Butler. Today, we're going to be talking about UV sterilization for water systems. But before we get to that, please hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up if you like it, let me know in your comments what you'd like to see in the future, share it with your friends, and let's get to UV water filtration. Well, I just said UV water filtration. Well, UV is really not water filtration. This is something though that you're normally going to use in conjunction with water filtration. This is kind of the optimal maximum step you can take with water filtration to protect your water system. Why? Because what is UV sterilization? Well, UV is just what it says. UV means ultraviolet light. And we use it in so many different ways. UV sterilization is used in multiple different ways. For me as a plumber, we use it for water. We have an air conditioning division here at Milestone. We use it for cleaning your air. It actually goes in the duct systems and cleans your air by a consistent UV light that's always on. UV light can be used for cleaning surfaces. A lot of you may remember during COVID in 2020, they actually started making all these different little boxed cases that had UV light in them to clean your keys and your wallet and your gloves or whatever you could fit in it. They were small, they were large, for years, even back when I was in high school, back in the olden days, they had UV light sterilizers for the goggles that you wore in your chemistry labs. You would put them in a UV cabinet at the end of the day, you'd put them in the UV cabinet, close the doors, turn the timer on, and it would have UV light shining on it so it would clean them so you didn't pass germs among each other by wearing each other's goggles. Possibly get an eye infection, right? It stops that kind of thing. UV is one of the very best sanitizers there are right up there with ozone and chlorine bleach without chemicals it doesn't get things on them you don't have to worry about damaging a surface or anything with uv in general unless of course it is uv sensitive so the uv light how does it work the uv light actually doesn't kill anything what it does is it alters the dna and the genetic process of those bacteria germs, whatever it is, viruses, and it makes them not reproduce because, you know, with bacteria and viruses, they reproduce millions per hour. And when you stop that, you stop the spread of the disease. You stop, if you have it on a surface or in water or in air and you hit it with UV light, it basically sterilizes it so it cannot reproduce. Therefore, you're not producing millions an hour. You're not producing any because one or two little bacteria spores aren't going to get you. It's when they're reproducing, right? So we stop it from reproduction, we end its life cycle, and you no longer have contamination from viruses or you know, pathogens of any kind. And that's where the UV light comes in. It gets rid of biohazards, basically. Your things like cryptosporidium, you know, E. coli, viruses of all different kinds, any of these types of things. It does not get rid of chemical things. It does not get rid of inorganic items. It gets rid of living organisms or things that are going to make you sick in some way. And that's awesome, right? When do we need this? Well, from a plumber's standpoint, we need it where the water comes in the building, right? To protect you. So what are we going to be using? This is a similar type system. There's a lot of different ones out there as you're going to see in the pictures that we're going to be showing. This is a UV light sterilizer for water. The water goes in here, comes out here, or vice versa, goes in here, comes out here, depending on the system, right? Which way it goes in. The whole point of this is, is that the water goes in, you have a UV light that is continuously on. As the water passes around the light, it sterilizes any germs that are in there. When I say germs, as I said, cryptosporidium, E. coli, uh, salmonella, just your regular everyday viruses, even COVID, those sort of things. If you happen to get COVID in water somehow and it survived, any type of that, bloodborne pathogens, things of that nature. If the water got contaminated, let's say you didn't know about it or the city didn't contact you and a water main broke and they had to repair it. Well, when they break a water main, contaminants in the ground get into that and oftentimes they can be biohazards. Now, usually you've heard of a water boil. You know, you'll get a notice of boil your water because we had a damaged water main or a broken water main and your water may not be safe to drink. 
So you need to boil your water before you use it. Now, I still recommend, even if you have one of these, that you boil your water. But in the event you didn't know about it, there's a really good chance this could protect you 100%. I don't take that chance. I would always say still boil your water, but this will take the majority of any kind of pathogen or organism that's growing in that water and it sterilizes it so it cannot reproduce and reproduce and cause you sickness. And that's an awesome thing. As I said, this is the top tier of water filtration. I don't recommend having these without a water filtration system. Either your Halo 5 or your Ultimate type system or if you've got a water softener, of course a water softener, remember, does not have filtration capabilities. It only removes the hard water minerals, the calcium and magnesium out of the water. The Halo 5 in conjunction with the water softener, which is what we call our super soft combo that we install with Halo, and remember, I'm not sponsored by Halo. It just happens to be the one that we install. It's a very good system. This is Halo's UV light. You could use anybody's UV light with any type of system. The UV lights are totally separate in general from the filtration system. But you do want to generally have filtered water if you're going to go this far with a UV. And most people that are as concerned about their water enough to use a UV light are already concerned enough that they want water filtration to remove those heavy metals and pesticides and contaminants that could be in the water other than your organic pathogens. So how does the UV light work? Well, as I said, we've got one similar to this. Let's dissect this thing and see how does it work and what is giving us the UV light. First of all, of course, it's going to have a power source. You're going to have a power pack on them and most of these will have some sort of light that is on the power pack. Now that light's going to show you, oftentimes it can show you that you've got power, of course. Sometimes it will flash depending on the brand and model. It may flash telling you the light bulb's working or that there's something wrong because the critical key here is you've got to make sure your light bulb's still working and you can't see that from outside the unit. You don't have any UV light that escapes because UV light can hurt your eyes. So you want to make sure that your bulb is burning correctly. Now, how does this work? So it's got the power. This has a little area right here that we can disconnect and it has a set screw right there as you can see. This comes up and it unplugs from your light bulb. So you've got a little four hole plug. Most of them are made the same. Then this will screw off the end and there's a gasket in here you don't want to lose and we've got a crystal sleeve because one thing about it you cannot get water on your UV light. That UV light has to be in a waterproof cylinder and that has to be crystal clear. So this is actually a crystal sleeve that's your bulb goes in. One thing too, if you're ever changing these, do not touch the UV bulb. The oil on your skin can cause a UV bulb or a halogen bulb to actually crack or break. So be very careful, hold it only by the ends or some good gloves that won't have any oil or anything on them. That's what the bulb looks like. Has one tiny filament going all the way through the end. And this is what the crystal tube looks like. It's just like a test tube. It won't go out the far end. Just like a test tube, it's sealed on that end. This goes in all the way. Your bulb goes inside that. You have a gasket that goes on here. This screws down tight and seals it watertight so that we've got basically a crystal tube inside our drum right here or our tube and the water passes around that crystal lens and with the light going, sterilizes any pathogens that could be in there. That cleans your water, sterilizes that water. These are used in pharmaceuticals. They're used in surgery labs to clean the water. They're used anywhere you want. Really pristine, safe to drink. No biohazards whatsoever are in that water after it passes through that UV light. Now, how long does that light bulb last? Well, they recommend changing it once a year. Now it's kind of up to you. If you check it regularly and you know that it's working properly, you could go longer. The crystal lens, they say make sure and change it every two years. Now you can take that crystal lens out, take a look at it. The problem with the crystal lens is it gets cloudy. Now if you've got a really good Halo 5 or even a Brian Tank softener system or a Ultimate with an ion in it, you may not have any calcium buildup on it whatsoever or any 
fog built up on the uh, crystal tube. If you don't, you don't need to replace the crystal tube. You can also try cleaning it. Now, the danger is, again, we said this is crystal. With certain cleaning agents and solvents and different things, you might etch the crystal. And if you etch the crystal, of course, it's gonna give it a rough edge and that calcium and magnesium or whatever's in that water is gonna just grab onto those places in that crystal that's etched. So that's where it gets a little tricky. If you can just wipe it down with a really clean microfiber cloth, you're in good shape. And if that stuff wipes off, you don't need to buy a new crystal. The crystal gets a little pricey. I believe it's about, just depending on the unit. This one's a quite long crystal. If it's a shorter unit, I've seen units that are about this long, half the length of this one. Of course, they're not as high a volume. You gotta look at all of that. The amount of UV light you have, the amount of tube, all of that comes into play. How much will it treat at once? Not to say that it might not run 20 gallons a minute through it, but is it going to sterilize it at 20 gallons a minute? This particular one goes 12 gallons a minute. If you have one that is four gallons or five gallons a minute and you're running eight gallons a minute like through your bathtub and your washing machine's running, then you're not getting full sterilization and some pathogens or biohazards could still get through. So you have to sync that up and know what size your UV light is capable of treating. How much water gallons per minute, okay? So that's kind of how the UV light works. The UV light itself ranges anywhere from probably depending on how long it is. Uh, this particular one's like 150 in that range. And they may go up and down depending on what's going on in our economy at the time. But you're usually gonna pay somewhere between 100 and $200 for a bulb. And again, it says replace it yearly. If you pay close attention to it and everything's working right and you know it's working properly, maybe you don't have to do that. I would recommend checking it at least once a month because if it goes out, you don't have any protection against microorganisms or pathogens with that. I mean, it even gets rid of parasites, giardia, amoebas, anything of that nature that could get in your water. That's UV treatment. The great thing about this is it's the ultimate treatment. You make sure it's in conjunction with filtration though. You can put it on your line by itself, but you always have to pre-filter it and keep everything you can out of this line. The most important thing though is that you get the best filtered water you can first and then you make sure that you're also killing the pathogens with it. So if you've got both of those, you've literally got the ultimately filtered water and the best water for your protection. The pathogens are out of it, the pesticides, heavy metals, sediment, whatever it is that could get in there, you've filtered it at point of use and you never know what's gotten into your water system. You never know when there's a break in your water line, something could seep in, Anything like that, heaven forbid there was any kind of terrorist attack or anything of that nature that attacked our water. All of these sort of things can be protected point of use at your home. And that's why a UV sterilizer is a really great addition to your whole home water filtration system. In most all cases, you want the UV filter to go on after your water filtration system for the maximum effect. It would still work prior to, but when you've got more things in the water, you've got more things that are blocking the ability for the UV light to do its job the best. Regardless, if you don't have a whole house water filtration system and you're just gonna put a UV for biohazards and pathogens, make sure you put a pre-filter on this. It would be a smaller type filter with just a cartridge filter. Uh, could be a carbon activated cartridge filter, a small one, but you need to make sure that there's no debris or anything else getting in the line going towards this UV light. That would cause premature failure on it, okay? And finally, remember, this is not in any way chemically treating the water. This is sterilizing any pathogens that are in there. Now granted, you're saying, well, what's it do with them? Well, yes, they get sterilized, they die, and they wash on out. I mean, you have germs in your body all day long and every day you breathe in with every breath and everything else that die in your body and just pass on through your body. This is the same thing. You drink it, it goes on away, but it doesn't reproduce. It doesn't make you sick because it's not growing in your body anymore. Okay? Sounds kind of gross things to talk about, right? But as I've always said with my guys, plumbers are the closest things to a person's doctor. Keep that in mind. It does not change the water. It kills the things that are in it. Just like the ion. Our ion that is a water conditioner, not a water softener, but our ion that's a water conditioner, which is in the Halo 5, it does not change the water all to the water. It just alters the ion charge on calcium and magnesium. And you still have the calcium and magnesium in the water. It doesn't filter out. And you get the benefits of that. So, 
Keep those things in mind. This does not change the water. If you're worried about, oh, I'm chemically treating my water, I'm drinking chemicals now. No, that's not the case at all. It does not do that. Again, UV is one of the very best ways to sanitize things. We use it in every case. We put it in our air ducts. As I mentioned, it sanitizes the air that you breathe. As it's shining in the ductwork, the air passes over it. It kills spores of all kinds that are in the air that we have flowing through our house. It kills it on surfaces. They have them for toothbrushes that you can put your toothbrush in a UV thing. They have them that operate off of batteries, power packs, you name it. UV light is one of the very best ways to kill germs. You know, if we could stand it to be in UV light, it would be great to have UV light running in our house. Of course, it does sunburn you, so you couldn't do that. UV light is very bad for our skin, but it does kill the germs that are in our home. So it's a great way to carry that water filtration to the next level. UV light, a great thing to add to your water filtration system. Thanks for watching this video. I hope now you understand a little better about the difference between water filtration, water sanitization, water conditioning, that sort of thing. We've talked about a lot of different things. There's gonna be several other videos coming out about different types of water filtration. Please hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends. Let me know what you want to see in the future and let me know your ideas. Let me know how your UV light works at home. Let me know how your water filtration system is working. Or if you want to get one or have a question about it, pop me that comment and I'll do my best to answer them all. Look forward to seeing you next time on Serving Up Plumbing. And don't forget, tell your friends, the butler did it. No biohazards what no biohazard <laughs>